Hello, and welcome to today's second step lesson on reviewing the second step skills. In the previous lesson, you learned that it's okay to say no to others, and it's okay for them to say no to you. You also learned that negative emotions like guilt and remorse can be reasons not to go along with peer pressure. Today, we're going to review the concepts and skills we've been learning in the Second Step program this year. First, let's do a quick review of the empathy unit. Who remembers what empathy means? That's right. Empathy means understanding or feeling what someone else is feeling. Now, as a companion to empathy is the word compassion. And compassion is empathy in action. Now, let's listen to the empathy song, Walk, Walk, Walk. So what do you think you got to walk in their shoe means? Now, how can walking in someone's shoes help you have empathy? Now, listen carefully to the words of the songs from the other two units. Of, they were the emotional management and the problem solving units. The videos are calm down and Step up. It's astounding. How intense is this feeling? Anger is building up. You need some healing. But listen closely. There's a way to do it. Feel the power. Keep control. Work on through it. Instead of those wild knee-jerk reactions, you gotta get your own attention. Emotions come Feel. 
feel and calm down. Stop. Name your feel and calm down. Stop. Give yourself a signal like stop. Chill. Hold up. Hang on. Send a signal to yourself and stop. Okay. Now name your feeling. Are you angry? Embarrassed? Worried? Scared? Figure it out and name it. That may work on how e. Explore consequences What would happen if e. Now pick the best solution And make your plan Yeah, You got to step Step, step up to be cool Yeah S -T -E -P. Give your power now After the storm of strong emotion S -T -E -P. Solve the problem now Now listen to me all you good people there's nothing wrong with strong emotion But after you calm it down You still got a problem, see? Now you gotta fix it And you can Oh, you step up Let me show ya Say you're in line and a kid come cuts in front of ya Whoa, that make you mad, brothers and sisters So feel it and calm it And take another look, yeah step. Whoa, let me show ya now you say the problem out loud now You both want to be first in line No blame T. Now think solutions that may work and how Now these gotta be safe and respectful No pushing, no shoving, see? E. Explore consequences, what would happen if How will other people feel? How will you feel? Will it work? E. Now pick the best solution and make your plan, yeah Choose it and act on it you got to step, step, step up to be cool, yeah. S T E P. Give your power now after the storm of strong emotion. S T E P. Solve the problem now. S. You say the problem out loud now. T. Now think solutions that may work and how. E. Explore consequences. What would happen if? E. Now pick the best solution. 
solution and make your plan, yeah You got to step, step I just remember to step, step Oh child, yeah. say you wanna step, step uh. You got to step, you got to stay, step uh. Oh yeah Now, let's review some of the specific skills we learned this year. We're going to watch a video that will help us remember these skills. It's good to try to get to know people, even if you don't think you have anything in common. Who knows, you might end up becoming good friends. The problem solving steps have helped me stay out of big arguments. When I need to calm down, I just breathe. When I start to get upset, I count backwards from 10. Then I say to myself, I can handle this. Now, I try to think about how other people might feel before I do or say something. You don't always have to agree with someone else's opinion, but you should always be respectful. Now, I really try to find out more about the situation before I make any assumptions. I've learned how to stand up for what's right by being assertive. I found out that sometimes the best solution is getting help from an adult. You need to use assertiveness skills for that. There were a lot of things to do to make this right, so I made a plan and wrote it down. Great, you got it. All right, yeah. Cool, tomorrow will be fun. Yeah. Today we reviewed the skills we've learned this year in the Second Step program. Now let's review the calming down steps together. In order for you to calm down, there are three major things you need to do before you let things escalate. First thing is, one, use your stop signal. Now your stop signal doesn't need to be stop. It can be whatever you want your stop signal to be. Next, you want to name what it is you're feeling at that moment. Whatever strong emotions you're having, put a name to it. Finally, you want to calm down using belly breathing, counting, positive self-talk. Maybe a combination of those. Now, let's review the problem solving steps. First thing you want to do is you want to say the problem. You want to make sure you do it without blame. No using blaming words like he, she, they, always, never. Next, you want to think of solutions that are not only safe and respectful to you, but also safe and respectful for the other person as well. Next, we want to explore consequences. What could happen if? As you remember, these consequences can be either positive or negative. Finally, you want to pick the best solution and make a plan based on the best solution that you have at the moment. Now if that solution doesn't work, you start all over again at S and you work your way back up to P. I want you to think about how using these skills can help you succeed in school, not only now but also in the future. Thank you for joining me for today's second step lesson on reviewing second step skills. Have a good day.